institutions bhopal today i am going to uh, discuss with you all that how to write letters and what are the basics of writing business letters in communication skills of mba first sem so here we go first of all we will discuss about that what is the difference between business letters and personal letters as we all know that business letters means as a media or means through which views are expressed and ideas or information is being communicated in writing in the process of business activities so basically business letters are only meant to convey the information or to receive the information related to your business activities those business activities can be complaint regarding the product it can be a suggestion it can be a collection related problem it can be an inquiry letter it can be a purchase letter so all these types of letters which have some formal activity involved that is known as business letters and these business letters are very formal letters because they follow a proper format there is a set format there is a proper protocol in writing the business letters which is normally not being followed in your personal letters personal letters can be written in the informal language there is no uh, starting and ending point there is no fixed structure of writing any personal letters whereas business letters do have fixed structured uh, letters to be written now this is the need or purpose of writing business letters we can take business letters as an representative of our business organizations because normally the business letters can be written on the letter heads of the organization so which gives the representation of the firm business letters provides information related to the business activities it can provide information about any new product which is being added it can provide information about any kind of a new policy or rules and regulations which is being uh, Im implied in the particular organization it can be regarding the change of interest rates in your banks any kind of information can be provided with the help of business letters and why do we provide it in writing because we can use it as a future reference Uh, in case of any kind of a problem happened in future we can use them as a reference and writing nobody can claim that you have not said these kind of a words to us similarly that is why everything which is being claimed in the uh, code that can only be in the written format it obviously provides goodwill because uh, we used to write not only the business letters but also the appreciation letters like greeting letters to our customers we just appreciate our customers for their contribution in our organization in one way or the other way through letters only so that provides goodwill to our organization also it enhances motivation of customers as well as employees because we normally do all the activities through the letter format which gives them a, a surety that the organization is appreciating you and they can use them as a reference also to show in their um, other organization and to other people also that you have been appreciated in the particular organization so these these are the purpose of writing business letters now these are the various functions being performed by business letters first is promotional functions we used to promote the businesses with the help of these letters uh, if we want to add any kind of a product so we can promote them by sending the letters to our customers to our prime uh, premium customers or to other organizations also we can uh, use them to exchange the informations we can use them as a legal uh, matters because that can be a written reference can be used for the legal matters we used to increase the goodwill of the organization by sending the appreciation letters to our customers as well as to our employees so these are the basic functions which are being provided by the business letters now these are certain do's or these are certain essentials we can say which we should keep in mind while writing the effective business letters our letters can be effective only if we follow all these do's first is clear your words your letters your vocabulary should be clear in all the senses the purpose of writing business letters should be clear before writing the letter it should be concise to the point no stories should be written in the letters it should be to the point for what purpose you are writing the letter that only mentioned in that 
correct in all the senses be it punctuation marks be it facts and figures it should be correct there should not be any kind of inaccuracy in any kind of a fact data which you are using it should be courteous you should always use polite language if it is not necessary to use harsh language in writing letters you should be courteous your letter or the language which you are using in your letters should be convincing so that the other person to whom you are writing the letter should convinced by your complaint by your suggestion by your inquiry whatever it should be complete in all the senses it should be considerate you should look after the needs of the uh, other person while writing the business letters that the language which you are using uh, whether it should be understood by the reader of your letter or not so you should definitely focus the needs of the uh, reader it should be concrete means the facts and figures which you are using should be very to the point should be very accurate one so these are the various do's which you have to keep in mind while writing the business letters the letters should be prompt that whatever you are writing it should be to the point prompt decisions can be taken up while uh, looking at your letters means the subject should be to the point so that the prompt action can be taken the you attitude should be there uh, the letter should not show me attitude or i attitude the words or the language or the sentences which you are using uh, or the matter which you are using in your letters should indicates the you attitude means it is basically for you people only it indicates that it focuses the needs of the other person not of you only it should be orderly arranged as per the format as per the protocol and always your letter should emphasize on the positive sides not on the negative sides then always use familiar words which should not prove jargon to the reader of your letters it should be familiar to them the, the level as per the level of the audience as per the level of the readers you have to write the words or you have to use the words in your letters now these are the don'ts of writing business letters which you should not follow first is avoid long phrases always write to the point like for example i have given over here instead of writing we have increased price in order to reduce our losses you can just reframe this sentence in such a way that we have increased price to reduce our losses that also serve the same purpose that also serve the same meaning so the point is that instead of using long phrases try to use short sentences which can be understandable by the readers avoid adjectives because that creates definitely that creates advantage to the sentence but that sentence becomes long for by the use of adjective like for example in this case the cold wave caused immeasurable damage to the crops instead of immeasurable which can be a jargon to some of the readers you can write the cold wave caused severe damage to the crops because severe is much more familiar word as compared to immeasurable so the point is that you can use adjective if it is familiar to the other person but if it is possible avoid using adjectives in your letters then avoid verbosity for example you will get a substantial discount if you pay promptly instead of writing this you can write this way also you will get a discount of 20% if you pay by 26th august so this sentence is much more concrete as compared to the other sentence which says substantial discount substantial amount can be 10% it can be 5 it can be 2 it can be any so to make it more concrete you can use these kind of a words so my point is that always avoid more verbs or verbosity in your sentences then always avoid negative expressions in your sentence try to write your letters positive now avoid demanding tone your letters should not just reflect the demanding tone and that can be only with the help of words like for example since we have received no reply from you we must instill that you pay your bill at once so this is a demanding tone you are not requesting the other customer to pay your bill but you are just demanding or ordering the other person to pay the bill at once instead of writing these words or this kind of a language if you write we would appreciate if you pay your bill at once so that will a uh, positive kind of a thing it reduces the negative expressions of yours and definitely the other person will not hurt and will pay your bill 
will will pay your bill as soon as possible because we have written we would appreciate only the word writing we would appreciate you will just start your sentence with the positive note whereas in the previous sentence we have start your sentence with a negative expression like we have received no reply from your side so that is a negative expression whereas in the second sentence we have started with the positive expression so that is my point is that always avoid ordered tone in your sentences avoid bragging tone bragging here means that you just not only give uh, benefit uh, give uh, uh, your only strengths you show your only strengths or talk only about your and your organization only do not use that kind of a bragging tone avoid humor your letter should not be humorous as far as it is business letter it's a formal letter so do not use humor in that do not use any kind of a joke do not use any kind of a double meaning word in your letters so avoid humor avoid using technical words which is not being understand by the reader always use familiar words avoid too many ideas crowded into one letter try to avoid too many ideas in one letter because that would create confusion in the mind of the reader avoid angry tone your letter should not reflect that you are angry from the other person so you should never use that kind of a paper in the copy machine this for example if you want to say this so you cannot say you should never use that kind of paper in the copy machine see this is again a negative expression which you are showing instead of that if you say that type of paper does not work very well in the copy machine now see the difference in these two sentences the first letter only shows your negativity like that you cannot do this very thing but why you are not uh, using this paper in the copy machine is not mentioned in the first sentence whereas in the second sentence contains the reason also and the thing also that you are not allowed to use this kind of a paper because it says that type of paper means the paper which you are using does not work very well in the copy machine that is why it is not allowed to use this kind of a paper in the copy machine so it means the difference in these two sentences is that second sentence is giving you the reason also that why you are not allowed to use this kind of a paper whereas the first sentence only gives you that you should never use that kind of a paper but the point comes in your mind that why i cannot use this kind of a paper so that creates frustration that is not a positive tone whereas the second sentence shows you the positive tone so this is only the difference of the words or the playing with the words which changes the tone of the letter so you have to do that you have to just use it very tactfully in a very uh, effective manner so that is the main point of discussing this avoid angry tone always avoid intimacy while writing business letters because these are the business letters which is formal as compared to personal letters so never use such phrases such as just between you and me and as you and i are well aware so avoid using such kind of a words because this shows intimacy this shows that you know the other person beforehand so that means that doesn't becomes a formal letter so never use such kind of a phrases even if you, the other person is known to you but if it is a business letter so never uh, ever or avoids using such kind of a phrases so these are the various do's and don'ts of writing business letters which is the basic need which one has to understand while writing the business letters right so i hope the basics of writing business letters is clear to all with my this video so in the next video of mine i'll definitely tell you the format of writing business letters 